when there's a gap down and we're looking for a continuation lower, balance of power still might be constantly fluctuating. A more certain bearish continuation can be identified once price moves and preferably closes under both the closing price and lowest price of the initial gap down candle and remains under that range along with balance of power remaining under zero. And when there is a gap down candle, especially a green one, we want to see price go over and preferably close over the initial gap down candles closing and high price. With a stable rise in price like this, balance of power will normally stay well above zero until the gap is filled. Then for the opposite situation with a gap up, this example shows a good start to an immediate gap fill since balance of power is below zero and the current candle has closed under the gap up candle's low and closing price. But since balance of power isn't below zero for at least three bars in a row, there's no significant drop in price. Price remains relatively unchanged and this is reflected with balance of power not showing any clear bullish or bearish advantage until there are these minor moves over the initial gap up price range. Then in the recent short term context with price going towards more neutral to bearish movement, attention returns to the 360s where naturally a gap fill is sustained once price closes under 360 and balance of power stays under zero. It would appear the same thing is going to happen with the most recent gap up. However, a relatively quick return back over zero for the balance of power indicator delays a direct gap fill and naturally leads to more bullish to neutral movement. 